see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. Turns my stomach.
I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I... I feel... strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you after what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me. What will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! No! no. Wait! 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 No! could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. 
All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgardr. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgardr. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now? I head for Thrymmer's Hall. Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. What do you see, Sunan? Be my eyes. The steel and flesh met here, but Yodna leave no corpses. Rages. 
Ducks of the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. Something huge was dragged this way. They turn to earth when they die. Back to the tilth they came from. This card bears the sign of Agid. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Construction leads towards that giant root. Let's see you, old friend. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. I must be careful now. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave?
are not always as they seem in your Tanaima.
my eyes, Sunan. stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. I need your eyes, my friend. Lonely? Miserable? Nothing impresses the ladies like smashing your opponent's face in! Toilet. 
and drudgery is our lot. trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotungar want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the Circle of Stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunlother is different from you and I. My father was a thrall, as is my wife, as will our children be. Toil and drudgery is our lot. He prayed so! Show me what lies ahead. Another illusion. The way inside is revealed. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. 
heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility waiting for unknown ears many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. It is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I... Do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. My father was a thrall, as is my wife, as will our children be. The vault wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long we made magics there, in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Harvey, your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. 
Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> My cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Great Yatna, I stand here in awe of your might and majesty. They do not respect weakness. Show some backbone. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! Guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Humble foes of Grawls in wait. Give me an enemy. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. You're not drinking, good mother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sends from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. Come, give it a try! I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. 
my brother in the name. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! What can I do to get them to drink faster? My brother in the leg. What's this second worst? Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a boat. Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit warm. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well... I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? What is a feast? They are calling for challenges to face their champion. The fight would help them drain their cups. Abby! Show us your might! Beat our champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who is in the mood for a brawl? Don't be scared of that brittle bones. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy! The mead is half gone. Then Aegir's cauldron can be drained. They beat the champion. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! You see musicians. Where is the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. <laughs> Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my harp! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! Have... That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? 
Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. We need to empty that cauldron. Then Tutankar will open his vault. <laughs> there. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umias Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? I might find some way to make the guests thirsty. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Hot spices call for a cooling drink. Now how can I use this? No guests in the kitchen! Your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable.
Javi, I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. The strange magic might the Aesir evade our doom. Yurikin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. Red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? Loki? You should have the sense to stay far away from me after what you did. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. 
Zutungard, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Harvey. such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. You gamble with uncountable lies. Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hidekin said to find her Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. been so high <laughs> your father brought me here long ago when we were just 19 winters together we stacked stones into cairns these yes think of this as a test of mind and wit stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like how do i win you win by playing an acquired mind is your reward let the air and nature's beauty soothe you.
I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutungal, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you. Here and now. You are out of favors, Trixer. And you are welcome to try. I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! No quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! Why wait till Ragnarok when you can die now? Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! You meant to have me killed! I will never forgive that! You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! Finished. Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! Gone. To who knows what mischief. And I will not see him again soon.
The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, Keeper of the Well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asim. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. You yourself have lost much for wisdom. Beheaded by those who did not value your learning. My Hugur is here. That is all that matters. I have learned to live incomplete. As will you. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungur and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the nine worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard to save my people.
come. Settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this meat, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt, till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I... Uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svartalfheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best.
You're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard, without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color. I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey.
age of stars. An age of war. Where did you hear these words of prophecy?
I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I witnessed the final vision from the Nornir. The coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash. A chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagab. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nortnir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but 
I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables. Yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? That was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the Great Wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge, and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Looks like I have a new letter. speaks of her child, Grendel. Cruel fate the gods have woven. <laughs> Malevolence. This land bears deep affliction.
This looks like an old cellar. Yeah, reeks of stale wine. Are those barrels still full? A shaft. I can see something at the bottom, but it's out of my reach. has filled the shaft bearing my prize with it. I should be able to reach it now. Drinking horn. It looks valuable. A good find, I think.
justice await me this time?
kingdom of Frisia, we honor your type, Pagan. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be Pagan is perfect. for you better to die than face my lords i hope my magister magnus forgives me for so long i looked to him for guidance for order if your honor is slow a true lord cannot forgive you they cannot <laughs> now i will turn my gaze to warden tiwar and shunor i will continue to turn until i find some forgiveness You will spin and drill yourself to an endless button.
once knew a man who cleaned all the rats in London. He took his time. They loved him, and he loved them. They lived freely. They came to see him for a scrub. Rats have a certain freedom, but they feed on shit. It's a coward's freedom. A Valhall for the vanquished.
Are you the sort the Britons call Excalibur? Order of ancients lurk in its streets and alleys. My old friends Shore and Lufina live here. Hold here. Shore <sighs> and Lufina settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. My friend, could you help me find some of my people? I'm looking for Hjor and Lufina. Hjor? I know him. Are you a friend? I am. Then you will get no help from me, or any of the other merchants for that matter. Now, if you don't mind. Hmm. Bitter. Has Hjor wronged him somehow? Cast about this land, my friend.
little one, can you help me? I'm looking for some friends. Do the names Hjor and Lufina mean anything to you? Mm. I think I know that name. A woman. She's from Biami land. Very smart. She sounded funny, so I asked her once. Hope it wasn't rude of me. You want to speak to the dot master, Grigory. I've seen him talking with her before. My thanks. I'm looking for some friends. Been told to ask around this harbor. Lufina and Hjor. Oh, oh, oh! Sure, I know plenty! Of that, I'm certain. And what about me? What about... Move along now! We ran a clean dock in Jorvik! You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, Take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? Yes, I know them. Now you seem to know them too. Point me in the right direction. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Lufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor. Pure and Lufina have done well for themselves. Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are pocket thieves around lately. <laughs> Wait for the Yuletide feast. It's a <gasps> Here, this is their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body, it's not your or Lufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There's a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Huh? Blood. No body. Which way did they go? Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. It's... it's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? But... who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help. On my honor. Sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. 
We may not be safe just yet. This way. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Go on. She can't have gotten far. Look around. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem, only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The sludge in the streets often drips from the gutters of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Fjord is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we... Pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. 
They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Yor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafit, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again! She survived. But the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the River Nene, as I hear it. I am far of it. War chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well-fed wastrel is Auden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, but what Haftan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Pure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishay will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. <sighs> Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, 
There is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aothon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I will get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. 